Hey everyone, it's uh, Ben Green from Atlantic Bushcraft Adventures. Uh, it's Christmas Day. It's it's a beautiful Christmas day here in Nova Scotia. Uh, and uh, I figured I'd give you some uh, initial thoughts on my, one of my Christmas gifts. Uh, my lovely wife bought me the uh, One Tigress Wild Haven tent. Uh, I just noticed there wasn't a lot of reviews on it, so I thought I'd give you my initial thoughts. This won't be a final review or anything. Uh, I'm hoping to get it out and use it a bit and probably do an actual review. I don't, haven't really done a lot of those yet, so something we're going to work on. Um, but yeah, um, me and my wife did a little bit of research. I did help pick this out. Uh, but it was really her idea, and uh, there's a few things we really liked about this one over some of the other options, like the Ironside or the, um, the Smoky Hut, both of which are very popular models and have a ton of reviews. Uh, I've had the experience of sleeping in the Smoky Hut, and I've seen the Ironside. A couple of my buddies have actually bought the Ironside. I think it's, in some ways, uh, better than the Smoky Hut. Um, from my experience, they all have some advantages and disadvantages, and we can talk a bit about those as we go along. But the uh, the Wild Haven has a few advantages that I really liked. Um, not the least of which is it has two doors. It's slightly more square in its stance than the other ones. They're all the other ones are pretty well more of an octagon, I guess, with all the sides <coughs> coming out equally. This is more of a square with the centers of each of the circles pulled out slightly, um, giving it sort of a bigger footprint um, from corner to corner, I believe. Um, so you can also get a full screen to go inside. And the full screen inside is, I think, seven and a half feet by seven and a half feet. Um, if you look at the iron side, it comes with a tent, but it's only really half, and there's a bit of an issue there with the zippers kind of in the wrong spot for the chimney, um, making it that you almost have to climb over the chimney and, or stove to get through, um, increasing the risks, I guess, of getting in and out. Um, it's not necessarily ideal. Had the door been on the other side, though, it may have been harder to reach to put fuel in. So, you know, six in one, half a dozen in the other. There's some talk of things they can do to change this, but uh, the end result is it's not the end of the world. The Smoky Hut, yeah, it is what it is. It's got similar doors to this one here that you can open one side up and it's not too, too big. Great for getting in and out, but you can open up two sides uh, and you have a, quite a wide open. Now with the Wild Haven, you can either open up the front two doors or the back two doors. It's pretty well identical except say, and it's, it's all reference I guess, but in this case what I'm using is the front has the chimney uh, hole. Uh, you can see it over my, my uh, right shoulder there. So I think personally if I was sleeping in this and I'm using the stove I probably won't use these doors. I'll leave them locked up. It'll keep this panel more stable, less likely to have any issues with the chimney. The concern most people seem to have with this particular one is that the vent appears to be relatively close to the uh, the hole for the stove. Um, but I'm, I'm not seeing that as being as a huge problem. Um, I did pick up a little 40 degree or 20 degree bend for my chimney to sort of keep it out of the way. And I got it under now. You may be able to see the chimney doesn't look straight. But I actually, even with a straight pipe, have four to five inches between the closest that flap would ever get. And if I'm really concerned, I feel I can just pull the flap down and be out of the way. The way that air vent works, it actually has two 45s on the side, so it's up higher than it actually looks. Um, so I don't really see that as a problem. Uh, the sewing on this thing seems awesome. The zipper seems to be like one of those waterproof style zippers. Uh, really tight, uh, looks great. Every one of the tie points around have a really good like uh, rope, adjustable rope tensioner on it that works really well. I'm really impressed with that. Um, the four ropes the tie out to the main corners to kind of give you a little bit more room inside and a bit more stability. They came with tensioners on them. I added <coughs> Night Eyes adjustable tensioner with like a, a carabiner style clip on it. 
Uh, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how that works out. Uh, but it means I can adjust both sides depending on what I'm doing. All the strings are high visibility lines, reflective stuff in it. Uh, I really have nothing bad to say about this thing so far. It is an awesome looking little tent. I'm very pleased with it. I'm really looking forward to getting it and testing it. Um, I really can't say enough good about it so far. But I do wish to put it through its paces. Um, a couple of differences I notice if you happen to have one of the other tents and you want to pick this one up as a second tent or as a different option or, or for you know it's slightly more uh, uh, square footage of, of room inside. Um, my stove jack was actually the opposite of the one in the smoky hut that I've, I, I used. Uh, it was uh, Jeremy from uh, Lone Wolf 902's uh, and, and there's a videos he has it on that when I stayed in it. On his stove jack, the stove jack portion of this piece here, you see, it had the uh, hook side of uh, Velcro. This one, it needs to have the, the pile side, so uh, didn't take me long. I had the materials already in the house. I re cut some uh, uh, oven sheet. Uh, it's kind of a copper one. I, I like it. It's kind of pretty. I already had this, the Velcro. I laid it out. Taped or glued it all in, ran it through the sewing machine. I think it took me 15 20 minutes, it wasn't long. Uh, and in the meantime, you know, snapped that together, got it onto it. So far, everything seems good. That's a pretty minor thing that the stove jack for another tent doesn't really fit it identically. Uh, I don't think it's a problem for me, but if you have one, you may have to make a second one and, and notice the difference and, and be aware of it. Other than that, uh, not much to, to, to add. I'll probably take a few clips, uh, quick shots, to show you different aspects of it. But uh, yeah, um, it's something definitely considerate. Uh, the extra tent, like the, the screen tent to get for it, I don't own it yet, but I'm planning and hoping my wife buys me one for, for my birthday. Um, it's, it's like $130 more. Um, so all told, it starts to add up. Uh, I, I wouldn't call it necessarily budget. But when you compare it to a lot of the bigger, heavier tents that are capable of carrying a stove, it still is a, is a budget. I mean, uh, this one will round out around 330 I guess, plus taxes, uh, maybe. Uh, if you look at the other versions that are out there, you, it, that's definitely a starting point uh, for some small ones. This one is very lightweight, fits in the same bag as the, the Smoky Hut and all that same style of pole like I said the only difference is it kind of four of the sides come out a little bit further or four of the points come out a little bit further so uh, a little tiny bit more room inside I think you could probably squeeze about four people in there without a stove two maybe three with the stove uh, so some options uh, I have a family of five with the kids I could probably get all of us in here me and a wife on one side and three kids sort of on the other side fairly comfortable. So if we we're doing a, a canoeing trip or something this summer, probably wouldn't take the stove for that anyways. It's something relatively lightweight, only need to take one, can provide shelter for everyone. Probably even take it just as a shelter and still use our hammocks. Um, we don't really worry about weight for, uh, for that type of trip. So this was something that's going to be a year-round uh, option for me. Uh, I still love my hammocks. I still think that's my preference for a lot of trips, but I love to have options. And the ability to run a stove is pretty good. So yeah, thanks for listening. I uh, hope I didn't ramble too much. And uh, hopefully I'll get this up soon. Or I'll just add it as the uh, precursor to the full review. But uh, initial thoughts, well made, good options, uh, and a very good looking product. I can't wait to test it. Thank you. Okay, start off here. I'm going to give you a little view of this uh, the vent. Like I said, this is about as far as it can come out. Uh, there's there's a fair gap in between um, four fingers or so that it's as close as it could come to it. If I thought it was a problem, I would probably just pin this down, maybe with a magnet or a clip. And I don't see that come being a problem. It's still higher than the rolled up uh, cover, so I'm not worried about that at all. Uh, like I said, beautiful zipper, uh, good quality.
yeah good zipper um, not much you see there really tie down point at the door same on both sides really uh, these nice little clips really easily adjustable quick and simple you see there um, I'm really kind of impressed by them I'm not a big fan necessarily of these type of uh, mechanical clips I usually prefer knots but these are good I, I really do like them I will use them um, the ones on the guy lines to come out are this style T pull them out lock them in to undo it you just simply uh, pull out on this and you can readjust it and then just snap it back in by pressing it over like that uh, pretty simple easy to figure out um, yeah so there's your tire point you can see the chimney coming out like I said I got a little bit of a bend in this one um, I haven't got a little spark arrest around that yet uh, come around it's pretty well the same all the way around you kind of can see here see like a little the end just comes out a little bit between those points but between these two points is quite a way so the base is just off of being squarish um, to go inside so this is the other side. Um, yeah, so this is the back side. Um, or the way I'm looking at it is the back side. So you can see you got your corner pulled out there. Nice big door. And like I said, you can open up that other flap and you have a huge entrance to get things in and out of. Or if it's just a beautiful day, you want to open it up and air it out. Great option there. Um, and you can see again, sort of this the more or less straightish side. Uh, coming inside, you got this nice aluminum pole with a bit of adjustability. You can see the points here. Um, <clears throat> there's my old stove jack. Doesn't really work for this one, like I said. Go up. I put, I don't know if you can see it, I put a tennis ball on top of mine. I, I don't know if that you need to do that, but uh, definitely thought it would add to the... Uh, longevity of the tent. You can also see up here four tire points for the screen I believe and you can see the vents. So a lot of ventilation in this one here. If you worry about condensation you can open up two doors and blow the wind right out through her. Uh, the vents up top you're not going to have a huge problem. So yeah lots of room inside. Uh, when I set it up for an overnight which could be tonight I suppose but not necessarily. I will uh, get some video showing the you know sleeping arrangements and stuff inside here but i can tell you that it's uh it's pretty roomy uh yeah so uh i'll probably leave that part there and just uh, see how this video comes out i'm trying out a new mic i really want to see how that sounds so uh, it's been a good christmas for me i hope it's been a great christmas for you guys uh we'll talk to you guys later thank you bye